All right, so I'll be talking about the K-Laser. Um, it's a drug-free, surgery-free solution to several different things that I'll talk about. Uh, so many vet clinics are starting to use this. The vet clinic that I interned at over the summer has this, um, and it's a great tool, and you'll find out why. All right, so the K-Laser is this small little image right there. It's not that big. Um, and it's class four laser that delivers specific red and near infrared wavelengths. Um, so it induces photochemical reactions and therapeutic effects. Results are increased circulation, reduced inflammation, pain reduction, and enhanced tissue healing. So it increases circulation, which draws the water and oxygen and nutrients to the area, which optimizes the healing and reduces inflammation, swelling, and pain to the area if you have like a laceration or a wound of any kind. Um, it also interacts with tissues at the cellular level, which increases metabolic activity, increasing nutrient transport in the cell ATP. Um, this allows for cell function and tissue repair, which is important in wounds, but also in arthritis um, patients, which is what we use it on is mostly um, older dogs that have hip or knee problems, or even if we have ACL surgeries, we use it on those. And then any other wounds or infections that come in, we use it on those and it optimizes healing time. Are you going to tell us what it costs or do you know what it costs? Yes. Is it coming up? It's coming up. Okay, thank you. All right, so oh, this, there it is. Okay. the small little thing you saw in the last picture <laughs> is $25,000 and that's just for the K-Laser Cube 4, which is a lower generation. They have, I believe, higher generation ones that are more equipped um, for different things or might be faster which would be more. So mm -hmm. yes, it's a lot of money, so not a lot of vet clinics have them right now because they're expensive, but they definitely pay for themselves over time. Um, so these uh, patient cost prices are based off of the clinic that I went to. So they're, these ones will be usually lower than what it would be in other clinics. So a single rapid, meaning it's less than four minutes, would be $20 for that one session that you had. and then. If you did five of those rapids, like over time, like throughout two weeks, it would be 85 and then 160 for 10 of those. Um, and then case by case basis, it depends on what we're, um, how long you'll be doing it and whatnot. Um, but then the single extended is around 30 and then off of that is 130 and 250 for if you extend it more. Um, and then we reduce the price. if. It's a reoccurring patient that comes in with like hip problems or they're just really old dog that has trouble walking, needs help um, for arthritis pain in their hips or knees. Um, we reduce it every time they extend their package. So it depends on the vet clinic, um, what they want to do, but it's definitely worthwhile. All right, so if you're squeamish, um, just so you know, these pictures are a little gross, um, can be some graphic, but they're really interesting cases. So I'll talk to you about two cases um, that we saw at the vet clinic over the summer. So just be aware. All right, so uh, case one, it was a stray cat that came in with a laceration on its neck and it, had, it was ravaged with flies and infection. So um, the, patient, or the clients were willing to give it a try and save the cat even though it was on death's door. So we did fluids, gave it nutrition and antibiotics, and along with laser treatment. So these numbers go in succession of when we saw it. So this is the first, after we cleaned it out of all the flies and maggots, um, this was the first day it came in, um, all lacerated, cut open, and clearly like most cats don't let you hold them like that, so it wasn't feeling well at all. Um, and then two days later, after more lasering and more lasering, we cut off some of the dead tissue to let it heal more, and that's why it looks a little more red here. Um, and then as we go, you can see just another uh, couple days later, it has definitely reduced. The inflammation is down more. The wound is actually even smaller and smaller, and that's the very last day that we saw it in the clinic. Mm -hmm. um, and that was just over an 11 day period. Wow, well, a total of 11? Total 11 wow. days um, of laser therapy along with like mm -hmm. fluids and nutrition. And the cat is much happier, healthier, and has a good home now and no longer stray. Um, and that was all from the laser therapy along with like the nutrition and other things to help the body. 
and then on to case two is a little, it's a much longer case and more complicated, it's a very unusual case. Um, so this German Shepherd um, came in, his name was Zeus. <laughs> uh, he's a pretty awesome dog, but he came in after the owners got him, and only two days after having him, he came in with a large swelling under his jaw and upper neck, um, which we treated conservatively. But then the next day he came in, he was very lethargic. The swelling was worse, um, so we knew what we were doing wasn't the right way to look at it. Um, so here is how he came in to us. He was very lethargic. Was Maybe he, orientate us head, neck, yes. uh, chest. So his head's up here, and that's the wound we initially saw on his neck, and then we saw that it progressed down onto under his um, chest area by his armpits, which his legs are right here. Mm -hmm. um, and this is a progression throughout a uh, couple days span, like throughout one week, this is the progression. Okay, that's one week. Yeah. yeah. Not um, getting better. Yeah. So, as you can see, he was very lethargic. He wouldn't eat or drink. He was losing a lot of weight. Um, we knew this issue was we were seeing this black bruised area. And we noticed that the skin, as you can see, the top epidermis layer was dying off, but the bottom sub-Q layer was dying off much slower. Um, so that's why it looks like that. And so we started laser treatment on this second day after seeing all this and that it didn't with the conservative treatment that it didn't help um, so um, over time it would slowly die off more and then we had to peel it off and that's that's a chunk right there um, that's it's a, a chunk, chunk on the table yes. or the floor it looks the like. floor yeah <laughs> so like you can see the sub q layer is yeah. not dying as fast as the outer mm -hmm. dark layer um, of the epidermis epidermis um, so we not only did laser treatment, but we had to do IV and fluids and then antibiotics and steroids as well. We did do blood work on him, but he only had mild elevation in um, white blood cells, so it wasn't like completely infected. So that was kind of out. That was out, of, so we couldn't include that in our... So you ruled that out. Yes. Yeah. Um, so as we go on, you can see us using the laser right now. Um, he was in a lot of pain, so we had to put a muzzle on him, even though he's a really sweet dog. Mm -hmm. um, so we were lasering it, and it, it was a long lasering session, because we had to do about four minutes here and then four minutes on the neck. Because um, the secret is you can't let that laser uh, yes. stay in one spot. Yes, because the laser has to keep moving, because what the patient feels is heat, and we actually had to show a client one time that um, that it does produce heat, we would shine it on a piece of paper and it would catch on fire. So, and we've actually lit candles with the laser for fun. To just for fun when everybody's <laughs> gone? Uh, so it does get really hot, so you have to keep moving it, otherwise it'll burn the skin or the yeah, hair on the yeah. dog. Mm -hmm. um, so yes, it was a long session, but the dog is pretty patient. So, once we peeled off all that dead skin layer, um, that's what's all underneath, and it, it smelled really bad. We always knew when Zeus was in the clinic, because um, mm -hmm. we could mm -hmm. smell him coming. Just look at that. It's um, but after we saw that um, we had a chance to close it up and put a drain in, we did. So this is him on the surgery table before and then after. That white um, elastic is the tube, drainage tube, which is just set in there to help all the uh, pus and liquid um, get out of the wound so it can heal faster. But Zeus is a smart, crafty dog, and he ripped out most of his sutures, as you can see, and then the drain came out. So we had him always wearing like a t-shirt, and he had like a donut around, a donut pillow around his neck, and a scarf, just so he can not scratch at it. So as you can see, we're still continuing the laser therapy. So it's very inflamed right here, and then over time, the wounds shrink, um, start to heal up on their own. Um, this is no longer there. The inflammation is gone. It did inflame more here, probably because he uh, was scratching at it. Um, but we always, when he came in, we would clean it up for him and get a new t-shirt. Um, and then as you can see, it progresses. So this was a long treatment period. There's even more as it closes up. And I'll tell you the time frame that it took to do all of this once I show you. So this is the very last time he was in. and. The, of course, he's a happy dog. He's all yeah, good. This is the last time he was in. Oh, wow. um, so 
This whole time period with the fluids and all and the laser therapy was about two months. So from June to August, mm -hmm. um, this is what it took us. So it was a long period, but he's a happy, healthy dog. Yeah. So what? A lot what of people. Caused this? What caused this? We don't. It took us a long time to figure this out. We um, had to talk to other professional veterinarians. Um, and luckily, we found out that this was caused by a brown recluse spider. So they're not very common up in northern Indiana, but this dog was from southern Indiana, Ohio region, and that's where they're more common. Mm -hmm. And so we most likely think he got bit by one of these, yep. um, which caused the skin to inflame and basically eat away. Um, so mm -hmm. that's once the toxins got out, he started healing, and then the laser helped him. So if you want to see more in additional cases like this or read more about what I just talked to you, um, just check out Fort Wayne Pet Hospital K, K Laser Stories. You can just Google wow. it, or here's the link right there to the actual all the blog stories about it. And there's about 25 different stories on there so far. So yeah.